प्रैक्टिस मेक्स परफेक्ट हाई दर आई एम एम अली फ्रॉम न्यूयॉर्क वॉट्स योर नेम हे एम एली आई एम स्मिथ नाइस टू मीट यू आई एम फ्रॉम लंडन हाउ इज इट गोइंग Good to meet you, Smith. I'm doing well, thanks. What do you do for a living? I work in marketing. How about you? I'm a software engineer. What brought you to London? Work brought me here. I got a job opportunity that I couldn't resist. How about you? What keeps you in New York? Please like and subscribe our channel. It will help us to grow. Born and raised here. I love the energy of the city. What's your favorite thing about London? Definitely the rich history and the diverse culture. What about New York do you love? The skyscrapers and the endless food options. Speaking of which, do you have a favorite cuisine? I'm a sucker for Italian food. What about you? Mexican cuisine all the way. Ever been to a great Mexican place in London? Not yet, but I'm open to recommendations. By the way, do you have any hobbies? I love hiking. There are some great trails upstate. How about you? I enjoy painting in my free time. It's a great stress reliever. What's your favorite hike? Breakneck Ridge has stunning views. How about your favorite painting? I painted a seascape recently that I'm quite proud of. Switching gears, do you have any siblings? Yeah, I have an older brother. He lives in California. Do you have any siblings? I have a younger sister who lives with our parents in Edinburgh. Do you have any pets? No pets for me. I'm more of a plant person. Do you have any pets or plants? Just a cat named Whiskers and a few succulents. Do you have a favorite book? To Kill a Mockingbird is a classic I can read over and over. How about you? I love The Great Gatsby. Such a captivating story. What's your favorite movie? Inception always blows my mind. What about your favorite movie? The Shawshank Redemption. It's a timeless masterpiece. Do you have a favorite travel destination? I adore Barcelona. The architecture is stunning. How about you? Santorini stole my heart. The white and blue landscapes are breathtaking. What's your dream destination? Machu Picchu. The history and the scenery are awe-inspiring. How about your dream destination? I've always wanted to explore Kyoto during cherry blossom season. Do you enjoy sports? Big basketball fan. Go Knicks. How about you? I enjoy tennis. Wimbledon is on my bucket list. Speaking of lists, do you have any goals for this year? I'm aiming to run a half marathon. What about your goals? I want to improve my Spanish. Do you speak any other languages? Just a bit of French. Parlez-vous français? How about you? See, si. I speak Spanish fluently. Hablas español? What's your favorite way to relax? Watching Netflix with a bowl of popcorn. Any favorite show? 
Stranger Things is my guilty pleasure. Do you have a favorite season? Fall. The colors, the weather, it's magical. What's your favorite season? Definitely spring. The flowers blooming, the weather getting warmer. It's so refreshing. Do you have a favorite quote? The only limit to our realization of tomorrow will be our doubts of today. How about you? Be the change that you wish to see in the world. Words to live by. What's your morning routine? A cup of coffee and a quick jog in Central Park. How about you? Yoga and a hearty breakfast to kickstart the day. Do you have a favorite coffee shop? Joe's Coffee on Waverly Place. The ambience is perfect. How about your favorite spot in London? I love strolling along the Thames. The view of the city is spectacular. What's your favorite thing about your job? Solving complex problems. It's challenging, but I love it. How about you? The creativity involved in marketing campaigns. It keeps things interesting. Do you have a favorite childhood memory? Building forts with my brother in the backyard. What's your cherished childhood memory? Family vacations to the Scottish Highlands. The landscapes were like something out of a fairy tale. What's your favorite way to stay active? Crossfit. It's intense, but it keeps me in shape. How about you? I prefer long walks. It's a great way to clear the mind. What's your go-to comfort food? Mac and cheese. Classic and always satisfying. How about you? Chicken soup. It's soothing, especially on cold London days. Do you have a favorite app on your phone? Evernote. It keeps my life organized. What about you? Headspace. Great for a quick meditation session. What's your favorite thing about yourself? I'm a good listener. How about you? My ability to adapt to new situations. It served me well. Do you have a favorite childhood game? Hide and seek. Endless fun. How about you? Monopoly. It got pretty competitive in my family. What's your favorite dessert? Chocolate lava cake. Irresistible. How about you? Apple crumble with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. Pure comfort. Do you have a favorite holiday? Thanksgiving. It's all about family and good food. How about you? Christmas. The festive spirit and spending time with loved ones make it special. What's your favorite thing about our conversation so far? Learning about your love for painting. It's fascinating. How about you? Discovering your passion for hiking. I'd love to explore trails in New York someday. Exploring the British Museum was unforgettable. By the way, do you have a favorite type of music? I enjoy indie rock. Any favorite bands or artists for you? I love listening to jazz, especially Miles Davis. Do you play any musical instruments? I dabble in playing the guitar. It's a work in progress. Speaking of skills, do you have any hidden talents? I can solve a Rubik's Cube in under two minutes. What about you? I can do a few magic tricks. Always a hit at parties. Do you have a favorite type of weather? 
I love a crisp autumn day. How about you? I enjoy sunny days, but a light drizzle can be quite cozy. Do you have a favorite quote from a movie? Life is like a box of chocolates. Classic from Forrest Gump. How about you? May the force be with you. A Star Wars fan through and through. Do you have a favorite board game? Scrabble. It's a battle of wits. How about you? Chess. It requires strategy and patience. Do you have a favorite historical era? The Roaring Twenties always fascinated me. How about you? Ancient Rome. The architecture and politics are intriguing. What's your favorite thing to do on a lazy Sunday? Curling up with a good book. How about you? Watching old movies. Do you have a favorite decade for music? The 60s had some iconic tunes. How about you? The 80. The era of great rock bands. What's your favorite thing about your hometown? The diversity of cultures. It's a melting pot. How about your favorite thing about London? The sense of history in every corner. Do you have a favorite app for learning? Duolingo for language learning. How about you? I use Khan Academy for brushing up on various subjects. Do you have a favorite holiday tradition? Decorating the Christmas tree with family. How about you? Going on an Easter egg hunt. Do you have a favorite fictional character? Sherlock Holmes. The detective genius. How about you? James Bond. The epitome of cool. What's your favorite form of exercise? Yoga for flexibility. How about you? High intensity interval training, HIT, keeps me on my toes. Do you have a favorite documentary? Planet Earth. The cinematography is breathtaking. How about you? Making a murderer. True crime is always intriguing. Do you have a favorite quote about success? Success is not final. Failure is not fatal, it is the courage to continue that counts. How about you? Success is stumbling from failure to failure with no loss of enthusiasm. Do you have a favorite way to unwind after a long day? A hot bath with soothing music. How about you? A good book and a cup of chamomile tea. Do you have a favorite type of museum? Art museums. The creativity is inspiring. How about you? Science museums. They make learning fun. Do you have a favorite childhood cartoon? Tom and Jerry. Classic slapstick humor. How about you? Scooby-Doo. Mystery solving and humor. Do you have a favorite word? Serendipity. It has a nice ring to it. How about you? Resilience. It speaks to overcoming challenges. Do you have a favorite subject in school? Literature. I love getting lost in a good story. How about you? History. The stories of the past are fascinating. Do you have a favorite memory from your travels? Watching the sunrise at Angkor Wat in Cambodia. 
How about you? Strolling through the streets of Paris at night. Do you have a favorite type of cheese? Brie. Creamy and delicious. How about you? Gouda. A perfect balance of flavors. Do you have a favorite type of dance? Salsa. The energy is infectious. How about you? Swing dance. It's all about the rhythm. Do you have a favorite type of tea? Earl Grey. The bergamot flavor is delightful. How about you? Green tea. Refreshing and good for you. Do you have a favorite childhood toy? Legos. Endless possibilities. How about you? Action figures. I had quite a collection. Do you have a favorite aspect of your job? The collaborative problem solving. How about you? Seeing a creative campaign come to life. Do you have a favorite type of flower? Sunflowers. They're so vibrant. How about you? Orchids. Elegant and exotic. Do you have a favorite genre of fiction? Mystery. I love a good whodunit. How about you? Science fiction. The possibilities are endless. Do you have a favorite type of seafood? Shrimp. Versatile and tasty. How about you? Salmon. Healthy and delicious. Do you have a favorite type of fruit? Mangoes. Sweet and juicy. How about you? Pineapple. It's like a tropical vacation in every bite. Do you have a favorite way to give back to the community? Volunteering at the local food bank. How about you? Donating to educational charities. Do you have a favorite genre of movies? Thrillers. The suspense keeps you on the edge. How about you? Comedy. Laughter is good for the soul. Do you have a favorite way to practice mindfulness? Meditation. It helps center my thoughts. How about you? Mindful breathing. It's a quick reset. Do you have a favorite piece of advice you've received? Follow your passion and success will follow. How about you? Embrace failure as a stepping stone to success. Do you have a favorite childhood game show? Double Dare. The messy challenges were hilarious. How about you? Wheel of Fortune. Solving puzzles is always fun. Do you have a favorite way to learn new things? Online courses. They offer flexibility. How about you? Reading books. The depth of information is unmatched. Do you have a favorite type of cookie? Chocolate chip. Classic and timeless. How about you? Oatmeal raisin. A bit of sweetness and healthiness. Do you have a favorite way to celebrate achievements? Dinner with family and friends. How about you? Taking a weekend trip. It's a nice reward. Do you have a favorite type of architectural style? Art Deco. It's so glamorous. How about you? Gothic architecture. The intricate details are captivating. 
Do you have a favorite way to stay organized? Bullet journaling. It's both creative and practical. How about you? Using productivity apps. They keep everything in one place. Do you have a favorite type of workout music? Upbeat pop songs. How about you? Classic rock. It pumps me up. Do you have a favorite type of accessory? Scarves. They can change the whole look. How about you? Watches. A good watch is a timeless accessory. Do you have a favorite way to spend a rainy day? Reading by the window with a cup of tea. How about you? Watching movies with a cozy blanket. Do you have a favorite way to overcome a creative block? Taking a walk to clear my mind. How about you? Changing my environment. A new setting sparks ideas. Do you have a favorite type of car? Vintage convertibles. How about you? SUVS. Practical and comfortable. Do you have a favorite childhood fairy tale? Cinderella. The idea of transformation is magical. How about you? Peter Pan. Never growing up has its appeal. Do you have a favorite type of pasta? Penny. It holds so so well. How about you? Spaghetti. Classic and versatile. Do you have a favorite way to show gratitude? Writing thank you notes. How about you? Expressing gratitude in person. It feels more personal. Do you have a favorite way to learn about different cultures? Trying traditional foods. How about you? Attending cultural festivals. It's immersive. Do you have a favorite way to spend time in nature? Picnicking in the park. How about you? Hiking in the mountains. The air is so refreshing. Do you have a favorite type of dessert wine? Moscato. It's sweet and light. How about you? Port. Rich and full-bodied. Do you have a favorite type of pet you don't have? I'd love to have a golden retriever. How about you? A Bengal cat. Their patterns are beautiful. Do you have a favorite type of craft or DIY project? Making personalized greeting cards. How about you? Building furniture. It's a satisfying challenge. Do you have a favorite way to relax during a long flight? Watching movies or reading a good book. How about you? Listening to podcasts. It passes the time quickly. Do you have a favorite way to stay motivated? Setting small, achievable goals. How about you? Visualizing the end result. It keeps me focused. Do you have a favorite type of shoe? Sneakers. Comfort is key. How about you? Loafers. They're stylish and versatile. Do you have a favorite type of sandwich? Turkey and avocado on whole grain bread. How about you? Caprese sandwich. Fresh and flavorful. Do you have a favorite type of fruit juice? 
freshly squeezed orange juice. How about you? Pineapple juice. It's like a tropical treat. Do you have a favorite type of comedy? Improv comedy. The spontaneity is hilarious. How about you? Stand-up comedy. I love a good laugh. Do you have a favorite way to celebrate birthdays? Throwing a small gathering with close friends. How about you? Going on a weekend getaway. It's a nice escape. Do you have a favorite type of art? Impressionism. The play of light is beautiful. How about you? Abstract art. The interpretations are endless. Do you have a favorite type of chocolate? Dark chocolate with sea salt. How about you? Milk chocolate with almonds. A classic combination. Do you have a favorite type of weather for outdoor activities? Sunny and mild. How about you? Overcast with a slight breeze. It's comfortable. Do you have a favorite way to spend time with family? Family game nights. How about you? Cooking together. It's a bonding experience. Do you have a favorite type of soup? Tomato basil soup. How about you? Chicken noodle soup. It's a classic comfort food. Do you have a favorite way to stay connected with friends? Good morning, Emma. How do you usually start your day? Good morning, Smith. I usually start my day with a cup of coffee and some light stretching. Do you have a morning routine that you follow every day? Yes, I do. I like to wake up early, go for a quick jog, and then have a healthy breakfast. What time do you typically wake up? I usually wake up around 6.30 a.m. Please like and subscribe our channel. It will help us to grow. That's early. What's the first thing you do after waking up? The first thing I do is check my phone for any important messages or updates. Where do you live, Emma? I live in New York City. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? It takes me about 30 minutes to get ready, including showering and getting dressed. What do you usually have for breakfast? I often have yogurt with fruits and a cup of green tea. Do you have any morning rituals that you enjoy? Yes, I like to listen to my favorite podcast while getting ready. It helps me stay informed and entertained. How do you commute to work? I usually take the subway to work. What's your job, Emma? I work as a graphic designer in a creative agency. What time is your lunch break? My lunch break is around 12.30 p.m. What's your favorite lunch to bring from home? I often bring a homemade salad or a sandwich. How do you spend your evenings after work? I like to unwind by reading a book or going for a walk in the park. 
Do you have any evening rituals? I enjoy cooking dinner and watching a TV show or movie with my family. What time do you usually go to bed? I try to go to bed around 10:30 p.m. to get a good night's sleep. Any bedtime habits you follow? Before bed, I like to do some light stretching and listen to calming music to relax. How many hours of sleep do you aim for? I aim for around 7 to 8 hours of sleep each night. Do you have any plans for the weekend? I'm planning to visit a museum with friends on Saturday and have a relaxing Sunday at home. Any hobbies or activities you enjoy during the weekend? I enjoy painting and often spend my weekends working on art projects. How do you stay organized with your daily tasks? I use a planner and make to-do lists to prioritize my tasks and stay on track. Are there any changes you're planning to make to your daily routine? I'm considering adding a morning meditation session to my routine for a bit of mindfulness. Do you have a favorite day of the week? I like Fridays because it's the start of the weekend and I can relax and do things I enjoy. What's the most challenging part of your daily routine? The most challenging part is probably balancing work and personal time, but I try to set boundaries to manage it. How do you handle stress during the day? I take short breaks, practice deep breathing, and sometimes go for a walk to clear my mind. Any advice for someone looking to establish a consistent daily routine? Start small, be flexible, and find a routine that works for you. It's all about balance and what makes you feel good. How do you handle mornings when you feel rushed? When I'm in a rush, I prioritize the essentials like getting dressed and having a quick breakfast, and then I catch up on other things later. Is there a specific morning habit that you believe contributes to a productive day? Yes, setting goals for the day during breakfast helps me stay focused and productive. Do you have a favorite spot in your city that you visit regularly? I love going to Central Park on weekends. It's a peaceful escape from the city hustle. How do you unwind after a particularly stressful day at work? I unwind by taking a hot bath and spending some quiet time with a good book. Any guilty pleasures in your daily routine? I occasionally indulge in some chocolate after dinner. It's my guilty pleasure. How do you stay motivated to stick to your routine? Setting small, achievable goals and celebrating the little victories keeps me motivated. Do you have a favorite meal that you look forward to during the week? I always look forward to homemade pizza night on Fridays with my family. How do you ensure you get enough physical activity in your daily routine? I make it a point to walk or bike to nearby places whenever possible and incorporate short workouts into my day. Are there any cultural or personal traditions you include in your daily routine? 
I like to start my day with a moment of gratitude, reflecting on positive aspects of life. What's your go-to beverage during the day? I drink a lot of water throughout the day, but I also enjoy herbal teas in the afternoon. How do you handle disruptions to your routine, like unexpected meetings or events? I try to stay adaptable and adjust my schedule when needed, prioritizing tasks that are most important. Any favorite apps or tools you use to stay organized? I use a to-do list app and a calendar app to stay organized and manage my tasks. What's your favorite way to spend a lazy Sunday? I love spending a lazy Sunday watching movies or TV shows and enjoying a leisurely brunch. How has your daily routine evolved over the years? It has become more structured as I've learned what works best for me and helps me stay balanced. Do you have any bedtime rituals that help you relax and sleep better? I like to read a few pages of a book and practice deep breathing before going to bed. How do you handle early morning meetings or appointments? I make sure to prepare everything the night before and set multiple alarms to ensure I wake up on time. Is there a particular aspect of your daily routine that brings you joy? I find joy in my morning coffee ritual and the few moments of quiet before the day begins. Do you have a favorite type of exercise that you incorporate into your routine? I enjoy practicing yoga, it helps me stay both physically and mentally fit. How do you manage your time during the workday to stay productive? I use time blocking techniques to allocate specific time for different tasks, helping me stay focused and efficient. Are there any habits you've consciously developed to improve your daily routine? I've started practicing mindfulness, which has had a positive impact on my overall well-being. What's your favorite memory associated with your daily routine? One of my favorite memories is cooking a special meal with my family on Sundays. How do you balance work responsibilities and personal time in your daily schedule? I set clear boundaries and make sure to dedicate specific time for both work and personal activities. Do you have a favorite quote or mantra that inspires you in your daily life? Progress, not. Perfection is a mantra that keeps me motivated and encourages me to focus on improvement. How do you handle days when you feel less motivated? I give myself some grace on those days, focus on the essentials, and remind myself that tomorrow is a new day. Any technology free time in your daily routine? I try to have at least 30 minutes of technology-free time before bed to unwind and relax. How do you celebrate achievements or milestones in your daily life? I treat myself to something special, whether it's a favorite dessert or a small indulgence. How do you stay connected with friends and family during the week? I make time for regular phone calls and occasional video chats to stay connected with loved ones. 
Are there specific books or podcasts you enjoy during your commute? I enjoy listening to motivational podcasts and audiobooks to make the most of my commute time. What's your favorite way to relax on a Friday evening after a busy week? I like to unwind with a good movie and maybe order some takeout to kick off the weekend. How do you plan your meals for the week? I usually plan my meals on Sundays and do a grocery shopping trip to ensure I have everything I need. How do you handle days when unexpected events disrupt your routine? I try to stay flexible and adjust my schedule as needed. It's all about adapting to the unpredictability of life. Are there specific podcasts or YouTube channels you find informative or entertaining during your downtime? I enjoy listening to TED Talks and educational podcasts. They provide a great balance of learning and entertainment. What's your favorite outdoor activity that you include in your routine? I love going for hikes on the weekends. It's a great way to connect with nature and get some exercise. How do you manage to stay positive and motivated throughout the week? I surround myself with positive influences, practice gratitude, and focus on the things I can control. Do you have any specific rituals for winding down before bed? I dim the lights, listen to calming music, and do a quick meditation to relax my mind before bedtime. Are there any specific cultural practices or traditions that influence your daily routine? I incorporate a brief moment of reflection in my routine, inspired by mindfulness practices from various cultures. How do you prioritize self-care in your daily life? I make self-care a non-negotiable part of my routine, whether it's skincare, reading, or simply taking a break. How do you handle work-related stress during the day? I take short breaks, practice deep breathing, and sometimes step outside for fresh air to manage stress. What's your favorite aspect of your morning routine? I love the quiet moments of solitude before the day gets busy. It sets a positive tone for the rest of the day. Any specific goals you've set for yourself within your daily routine? I aim to incorporate more mindfulness practices and find moments of joy in simple daily activities. How do you maintain a healthy work-life balance? I set clear boundaries, prioritize self-care, and make time for activities outside of work to maintain balance. What's your favorite way to recharge over the weekend? Spending quality time with loved ones and engaging in activities that bring me joy help me recharge. How has your daily routine changed during different seasons or times of the year? I adjust my routine based on the seasons, incorporating different activities like outdoor workouts in the summer and cozy indoor activities in the winter. Are there any specific scents or aromas you incorporate into your daily routine? I use essential oils like lavender or eucalyptus to create a calming atmosphere during my relaxation time. How do you manage screen time, especially before bedtime? I set a screen curfew and switch to non-screen activities like reading to help signal to my brain that it's time to wind down. How do you handle days when you feel a lack of motivation? I try to identify the source of the lack of motivation, 
take a short break, and then return to my tasks with a fresh perspective. Do you have a favorite form of relaxation or stress relief? I find practicing mindfulness meditation to be incredibly effective for relaxation and stress relief. How do you manage your energy levels throughout the day? I take short breaks, stay hydrated, and eat nutritious snacks to maintain my energy levels. Are there any specific hobbies or activities you enjoy that are not part of your daily routine? I love photography and often spend weekends capturing moments in the city. How do you plan and structure your weekends compared to weekdays? Weekends are more flexible. I plan leisure activities, catch up on hobbies, and spend time with friends and family. What's your favorite type of music to listen to during your daily activities? I enjoy a variety of music, but I often listen to instrumental or ambient music while working or relaxing. Do you have a favorite quote or piece of advice that guides your daily life? Embrace the journey, not just the destination is a quote that resonates with me and influences my perspective on life. How do you ensure you get enough mental stimulation in your routine? I engage in activities that challenge my mind, such as solving puzzles or learning something new. How do you handle days when you have a lot on your plate? I prioritize tasks, break them into smaller steps, and tackle them one at a time to avoid feeling overwhelmed. Are there specific goals or aspirations you're currently working toward in your daily life? I'm working on developing a consistent exercise routine and exploring new creative projects. How do you ensure you get enough outdoor time during the week? I incorporate short walks or outdoor breaks into my day, especially during lunchtime. How has the pandemic influenced your daily routine? The pandemic has led me to appreciate the importance of self-care and finding joy in simple daily activities. What's your favorite part of your evening routine? I enjoy winding down with a cup of herbal tea and reflecting on the positive aspects of the day. How do you maintain a healthy diet within your daily routine? I plan my meals, focus on a balance of nutrients, and allow myself occasional treats to enjoy in moderation. How do you stay connected with your personal goals within your routine? I regularly revisit my goals, adjust them as needed, and celebrate small victories along the way. Do you have a favorite piece of clothing or accessory that you often wear as part of your daily routine? I have a comfortable sweater that I love wearing, it's become a cozy part of my daily attire. How do you handle interruptions or distractions during your workday? I try to stay focused using techniques like the Pomodoro method and create a dedicated workspace to minimize distractions. How do you choose your outfits for the day? I plan my outfits the night before based on the day's activities and the weather forecast. What's your favorite type of exercise that you include in your routine? I enjoy a combination of yoga and strength training for a well-rounded approach to fitness. How do you unwind during your lunch break? 
I like to take a short walk or find a quiet spot to relax and recharge for the afternoon. How do you stay mindful of your environmental impact in your daily choices? I make eco-friendly choices like using reusable items, reducing waste, and being mindful of energy consumption. How do you balance socializing with maintaining personal time in your routine? I schedule social activities but also make sure to have dedicated alone time to recharge. What's your favorite memory associated with your daily routine? One of my favorite memories is cooking a special meal with my family on Sundays. How do you incorporate learning into your daily routine? I set aside time for reading, online courses, or educational podcasts to keep learning a part of my routine. Do you have any evening rituals that help you transition from work to personal time? I have a specific shutdown routine where I review my tasks, make a to-do list for the next day, and mentally transition away from work. How do you handle days when you feel overwhelmed by responsibilities? I prioritize tasks, break them down, and seek support if needed. Taking things one step at a time helps manage overwhelm. How do you ensure you get enough creative outlets within your routine? I set aside time for creative projects like drawing, painting, or writing to nurture my creativity. How do you incorporate gratitude into your daily life? I keep a gratitude journal and make it a habit to reflect on things I'm thankful for each day. What role does music play in your daily routine? Music is a significant part of my routine. I use it to energize my mornings, focus during work, and unwind in the evenings. Any advice for someone trying to establish a more structured daily routine? Start with small, achievable changes, be consistent, and adjust as needed. Experiment to find what works best for you and brings balance to your life. Hey Emma, how's it going? Not too bad, just trying to survive the work week. Hey, Smith. I'm doing well, thanks. Lately, I've been really into photography and hiking. How about you? Anyway, have you been on any interesting trips lately? That sounds awesome. I'm actually planning a trip to Paris. Do you have a favorite subject to photograph? Please like and subscribe our channel. It will help us to grow next summer always wanted to see the eiffel tower do you have a favorite travel destination i enjoy taking portraits capturing the emotions and expressions of people it's so fascinating no not yet but i'd love to visit japan speaking of hobbies definitely there's this beautiful trail in the Blue Ridge Mountains, the scenery is breathtaking. How about you? Do you have any interesting ones? I've recently taken up photography. I'm into landscape. Gardening sounds interesting. What do you like to grow in your garden? Photography, capturing the beauty of nature. By the way, what's your favorite type of painting? Not really. That's great. I've always wanted to try my hand at growing herbs. Any tips for a beginner? But I've been thinking about giving it a shot. Shifting gears a bit, what's your go-to comfort food? 
I started playing in college. I love acoustic folk music, and recently, I've been trying some blues tunes. I'm a sucker for a good burger. Speaking of food, have you ever tried cooking something exotic? Besides your current hobbies, do you have any other interests you're passionate about? I do, actually. I find it relaxing. Changing gears again, do you have any favorite books or movies? I'm really into astronomy. Stargazing is such a mesmerizing experience, don't you think? I enjoy sci-fi novels, and or quote, The Matrix or quote, is a classic favorite. The Shawshank Redemption is a classic I never get tired of. How about you? On a different note, do you follow any sports? I'm a big football fan. Sundays are usually reserved for what? Speaking of sci-fi, if you could travel anywhere in the world or even beyond, where would you go? Ching Games. By the way, do you have any favorite team? I'm a die-hard fan of Manchester United. Speaking of... I'd love to visit Iceland, especially to witness the Northern Lights. It's been a dream of mine. Favorites. What's your favorite season? I'm more of a summer person. Love the long... Absolutely. A People's History of the United States by Howard Zinn is a must-read. What about you? Any favorite books? Long days and warm weather. Changing gears again. Do you have any favorite podcasts? I like comedy podcasts. Switching gears a bit. Do you have a fitness routine that you follow? Podcasts. They always lighten the mood. On a different note, do you have any pets? I love dogs. I have a golden retriever named... I enjoy Pilates and hiking. It's a great way to stay active and connect with nature. And Max. He's a big goofball. Shifting gears again. Do you have a favorite childhood memory? Playing... I love experimenting with new recipes. But homemade pizza is my go-to comfort food. What about you? Hide and seek until it got dark. Those were the best times. By the way, do you have a favorite type of... Shifting gears again, are you a tech enthusiast? Any gadgets or tech trends that caught your attention recently? Music? I'm more into classic rock. The Beatles are my all-time favorite. Changing topics. Augmented reality has piqued my interest. The possibilities for integrating it into daily life are endless. Do you have a favorite app on your phone? I'm hooked on Instagram. I love checking out photography accounts. On a Definitely. Experiment with different angles and lighting in photography, and in gardening, think about color schemes and layout. A different note, do you have a favorite childhood TV show? Or quote, Tom and Jerry or quote, always had me laugh. Speaking of art, any favorite music artists or bands that you're currently listening to? Think. By the way, do you enjoy outdoor activities? I enjoy biking, especially on scenic trips. I enjoy a wide range of music, but, lately, I've been vibing to some jazz classics. Changing gears, do you have a favorite board game? Monopoly is a class. I love the fall. The colors, the crisp air. It's just magical. What about you? Sick favorite. 
it can get pretty competitive. On a different note, do you have a favorite quote or Do you collect anything as a hobby, like stamps, coins, or anything else? Saying, Our quote, success is not final, failure is not fatal, it is the current I have a small collection of antique postcards from different cities. Each has its own story. Which to continue that counts, or quote, Winston Churchill nailed it. Changing topics, do you have any favorite podcasts? I volunteer at a local animal shelter. It's fulfilling to contribute to the well-being of animals in need. How about you? I like comedy podcasts, they always lighten the mood. On a different note, do you have any pets? Switching gears, do you speak any languages other than English? I love dogs. I have a golden retriever named Mac. I'm fluent in French, it's a language I fell in love with during my travels. He's a big goofball. Shifting gears again, do you have a favorite childhood memory? Play. I loved literature and history. They always felt like a journey through time and imagination. How about you? Playing hide and seek until it got dark. Those were the best times. By the way, do you have a favorite type of Shifting to a more interactive hobby, do you enjoy playing board games? Of music? I'm more into classic rock. The Beatles are my all-time favorite. Changing top. I enjoy Scrabble. It's a fun way to keep the mind sharp. Topics. Do you have a favorite app on your phone? I'm hooked on Instagram. I love checking out for I loved building forts with blankets and pillows. It was like creating a secret hideaway. How about you? Photography accounts. On a different note, do you have a favorite childhood TV show? Or quote, Tom and Jerry. Changing gears. Do you have a particular fashion style that you gravitate towards? Or quote, always had me laughing. By the way, do you enjoy out? I love a mix of vintage and bohemian styles. Thrift shopping is a treasure hunt for unique pieces. Door activities? I enjoy biking, especially on scenic trails. Changing gears. Mirrorless cameras have caught my attention lately. The portability and image quality are impressive. How about you? Do you have a favorite board game? The possibilities it opens up for creating custom objects are fascinating. Expanding on creativity. How do you incorporate it into your daily life, apart from your hobbies? I try to approach everyday tasks with a creative mindset, whether it's problem solving or planning. How about you? I enjoy journaling and doodling. It's a creative outlet that helps me unwind. With the holiday season approaching, do you have a favorite festival or celebration that you look forward to each year? Christmas has a special place in my heart. The festive spirit and spending time with loved ones make it magical. I enjoy Halloween. The costumes and spooky atmosphere add an element of fun to the season. Since we both enjoy outdoor activities, do you have a favorite outdoor sport or game? I like playing frisbee. It's a simple yet enjoyable way to stay active outdoors.
How about you? I occasionally play tennis. It's a great way to stay fit while having fun. Shifting to home decor. Do you have a favorite room or space in your home? And how do you like to decorate it? I love my reading nook. It's filled with cozy blankets and fairy lights. How about you? I've turned a corner of my living room into a mini music corner with my guitar and some framed vinyl records. Looking ahead, do you have a bucket list? And if so, can you share a couple of items on it? Skydiving is definitely on my list. Also, exploring the Amazon rainforest. How about you? Traveling through the Italian countryside and learning to cook authentic Italian dishes are on the top of my list. Do you listen to podcasts? If so, any favorite genres or specific podcasts you'd recommend? True crime podcasts are my guilty pleasure. The storytelling is so gripping. How about you? I enjoy science and technology podcasts. They keep me informed and entertained. Looking into the future, do you have any specific goals or plans related to your hobbies or interests? I'm thinking of starting a small vegetable garden. Growing my own produce seems rewarding. How about you? I'm planning to take a photography workshop to enhance my skills and maybe exhibit my work locally. That sounds exciting. Where do you draw inspiration for your hobbies and creative pursuits? Nature is a big inspiration for my photography, and I often find creative ideas in everyday life. How about you? Music is a major source of inspiration for me, whether it's playing the guitar or finding new gardening ideas. Switching to relaxation, do you have any go-to activities or rituals to unwind after a busy day? I enjoy a good book or playing some calming tunes on the guitar. How about you? A hot cup of herbal tea and some meditation help me relax and clear my mind. Going back to fitness, do you have any specific fitness goals or milestones you're working towards? I aim to complete a challenging hiking trail in the next year. It's a great motivator to stay in shape. How about you? I'm working on improving my flexibility through regular yoga sessions. It's a slow but rewarding process. It's been great chatting about our hobbies, Smith. Anything else you'd like to share or discuss? Likewise, Emma. This has been a delightful conversation. Let's definitely continue our chat soon. Just catching up on some reading and maybe a movie night. How about you, Smith? I'm not too shabby. By the way, do you have any upcoming plans for the weekend? I might go for a hike if the weather's nice. I'm into romantic comedies. They never fail to lift my spirits. How about you, Smith? Be the change that you Speaking of movies, do you have a favorite genre? Action movies are my go-to. The Adrenaline Rush You Wish to See in the World by Gandhi is a favorite. How about you, Smith? Chocolate Cake is my weakness. It is unbeatable. Shifting gears a bit, do you have any favorite quotes or mantras? Cup? I can never resist it. How about you, Smith? Fall.
for sure. Pay DM has always resonated with me. Seize the day, you know? On a different note, do you have any favorite desserts? I love layering and cozy sweaters. How about you, Smith? Yes, I went to a cold place. I'm a sucker for apple pie with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. Changing topic. A concert last year. It was an incredible experience. How about you, Smith? Spring is my favorite. I enjoy the lighter clothing and vibrant colors. By the way, have you ever been to a con? I love a good game of chess. It really gets the brain working. How about you, Smith? That's it? I haven't been to one in a while, but I'd love to see a live performance soon. Smith. I can play the guitar a bit. How about you, Smith? Yes, I love- On a different note, do you have a favorite board game? Risk is my go-to strategy. Love having friends over for game nights. How about you, Smith? Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know Game. It can get pretty intense. Changing gears, do you have any hidden talents? I'm surprisingly good at juggling. What you're gonna get? Forrest Gump. How about you, Smith? I swear by Evernote for keeping... It's a fun party trick. Speaking of parties, do you enjoy hosting them? My notes organized. How about you, Smith? I enjoy how I built this for insights into entrepreneur. I prefer attending parties. Less stress, more fun. On a different note, do you have a favorite? First journeys. How about you, Smith? Hide and seek was always a blast. How about you, Smith? Quote from a movie? Here's looking at you, kid. Casablanca. Classic. I'm hooked on the crown right now. How about you, Smith? I enjoy yoga for its balance of physical Changing topics, do you have any favorite apps for productivity? Trello is my go-to for project management. ...and mental benefits. How about you, Smith? To be yourself in a world that is con... On a different note, do you have any favorite podcasts for learning something new? Stuff You Should Know is my go-to for random interesting facts. Constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest accomplishment. Ralph Waldo Emerson. How about you? By the way, do you have a favorite childhood game? Kickball during recess was the highlight of my You, Smith. I enjoy Pinterest for its creativity and inspiration. How about you? my elementary school days shifting gears do you have any favorite tv shows currently stranger things has me eagerly aw smith life is what happens when you're busy making other plans alan saunders waiting the next season on a different note do you have any favorite type of workout high intensity in how about you, Smith? Decorating the Christmas tree with my family is a cherished tradition. How about you, Smith? Interval training is my go-to for a quick but effective workout. Changing gears, do you have any favorite quotes from books? I enjoy playing Settlers of Catan. 
It's strategic and fun. How about you, Smith? The Hobbit has so many gems, but not all those who wander are lost stands out. On a different Binge watching a TV series and ordering takeout is my ideal lazy Sunday. How about Note, do you have any favorite social media platforms? Twitter is my go-to for quick updates and news. How about you, Smith? Hikes and runs. It's motivating to see the distances add up over time. How about you? By the way, do you have a favorite quote about life? Life is either a daring adventure or nothing. Moving back to childhood memories, do you have a favorite game you used to play with friends or family? Thing at all. Helen Keller. Changing topics, do you have any favorite holiday traditions? Watching fire. I loved playing tag. The running around and laughter created such joyful moments. Works on the 4th of July is a must for me. On a different note, do you have any favorite board game? Clue is a class. I appreciate the beauty of astrology, but I'm more fascinated by the scientific wonders of astronomy. How about you? Classic favorite. The mystery element keeps it interesting. Shifting gears, do you have a favorite way to Going back to TV shows, do you have a favorite childhood TV show that you'd happily binge watch again? To spend a lazy Sunday? Reading a good book with a cup of coffee is my idea of a perfect lazy Sunday. Scooby-Doo was a childhood favorite. The mystery solving and camaraderie were so much fun. On a different note, do you have a favorite type of cuisine? Would it be and why? Traveling through the Italian countryside and learning to cook authentic dishes. It combines my love for travel and food. Skydiving for me. The idea of overcoming fear and experiencing freefall is both exhilarating and terrifying. Since we talked about travel destinations, do you have a favorite travel memory that stands out in your mind? Exploring the ancient ruins of Machu Picchu was a surreal experience. The history and views were breathtaking. Hiking to the top of Mount Fuji in Japan during sunrise. The panoramic view was absolutely mesmerizing. Shifting gears, what's your morning routine like? Any specific rituals that set a positive tone for your day? I start with a cup of herbal tea, followed by a quick meditation session. It helps me center myself before the day begins. I like to kickstart the day with a short jog and some uplifting music. It's a refreshing way to wake up. For someone who enjoys learning about history, do you have a favorite documentary that left a lasting impression on you? The Civil War by Ken Burns is a masterpiece. The storytelling and historical insights are unparalleled. How about you? Planet Earth series. The cinematography and the glimpse into the natural world are simply stunning. Going back to childhood once again, do you have a favorite toy that you cherished and still remember fondly? I had a teddy bear named Mr. Snuggles. He was my constant companion through thick and thin. How about you? Legos were my go-to. 
The endless possibilities of building different structures fueled my creativity. If you could have any fictional superpower, what would it be, and how would you use it in your daily life or adventures? Teleportation would be handy. Imagine exploring different countries without the hassle of travel. How about you? Time manipulation, it would provide more moments to capture in my photography and save a life's experiences. Given your love for music, do you have a favorite musical instrument other than the guitar? The violin has always captivated me. The soulful melodies it produces are simply enchanting. How about you? The sound of a well-played saxophone is magical to me. It adds a unique flavor to any musical piece. Nostalgia strikes again. Do you have a favorite childhood snack that you still crave from time to time? Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches were a classic. The simplicity and taste take me back. How about you? Fruit roll-ups were a childhood favorite. They were like colorful bursts of sweetness. Going back to astronomy, do you have a favorite spot for stargazing, away from city lights, where the sky comes alive at night? There's a secluded spot in the countryside where I go. The Milky Way shines brilliantly there. How about you? I love going to the beach at night. The sound of the waves and the vast expanse of the sky create a serene atmosphere. Since we talked about board games, do you have a go-to strategy for a game like Settlers of Catan? I focus on resource diversity and building roads early to establish a strong foundation. How about you? I aim for strategic placements, especially when it comes to settlements. Controlling key resources is crucial. Given your interest in history, do you have a favorite historical era that you find particularly intriguing? The Renaissance has always fascinated me. The cultural revival and innovation during that time were remarkable. How about you? Ancient Egypt captivates me. The mysteries of the pyramids and the richness of their civilization are awe-inspiring. Shifting gears to gardening, do you have a favorite gardening tool that you find indispensable? A good pair of pruning shears is a game changer. It makes tending to plants and trees so much easier. How about you? A sturdy trowel is my go-to. It's versatile and perfect for planting and weeding. Sweet Tooth Alert! Do you have a favorite dessert that you can never resist? Chocolate Lava Cake. The warm, buoy center is pure indulgence. How about you? Tiramisu is my weakness. The combination of coffee-soaked lady fingers and creamy mascarpone is heavenly. Considering your interest in gardening, do you have a favorite flower that you love to see blooming in your garden? I adore sunflowers. Their vibrant colors and the way they turn to face the sun are so cheerful. How about you? Roses hold a special place for me. The variety of colors and fragrances add a touch of elegance to any garden. As we approach winter, do you have a favorite activity or tradition you look forward to during the colder months? I love building snowmen. 
It's a simple yet joyful way to embrace the winter season. Can you please introduce yourself? Absolutely. My name is Emma Thompson, originally from San Francisco, California. I've been working in software development for the past seven years, specializing in front-end technologies. What motivated you to apply for this position? I've been following your company's growth and admired your commitment to innovation. I believe my skills in creating user-friendly interfaces align well with your needs. How do you approach problem solving in a team? I believe in collaborative problem solving. I encourage open communication within the team, gather diverse perspectives, and work together to find the most effective solution. Please like and subscribe our channel. It will help us to grow. Can you share an example of a project where you had to adapt to unexpected changes? Certainly. In my previous role, our project requirements shifted suddenly. I quickly reorganized the team, adjusted our timeline, and we successfully delivered the project ahead of schedule. What programming languages are you most comfortable with? I am proficient in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I also have experience with React and Angular frameworks. How do you stay current with the latest developments in technology? I subscribe to industry newsletters, participate in webinars, and contribute to online developer communities. Networking with professionals also helps me stay informed. Describe a situation where you had to provide constructive feedback to a colleague. In a team project, I noticed a colleague struggling with a certain task. I provided specific feedback, highlighting their strengths and suggesting improvements. We worked together, and the end result exceeded expectations. What is your approach to balancing creativity and meeting project deadlines? I believe creativity and efficiency can coexist. I allocate dedicated time for brainstorming and ideation, ensuring that creative solutions align with project timelines. How do you handle stress and tight deadlines? I maintain a calm and focused mindset. I prioritize tasks, delegate effectively, and ensure open communication with the team to manage stress during tight deadlines. What role do you usually play in a team setting? I often take on a leadership role, facilitating communication and ensuring everyone's strengths are utilized effectively. I believe in fostering a positive team environment to achieve common goals. Describe a situation where you had to learn a new technology quickly. How did you go about it? In a previous project, we had to adopt a new JavaScript framework. I dedicated extra hours for self-study, utilized online tutorials, and collaborated with team members who had experience, ensuring a smooth transition. How do you handle disagreements within a team, especially when working remotely? Open, communication is key. When disagreements arise, I encourage team members to express their perspectives, and we find common ground through virtual meetings or collaborative tools to ensure everyone's input is considered. Can you share an example of a time when you had to refactor code for better performance? Certainly. In a recent project, we noticed performance issues. I conducted a thorough code review, identified bottlenecks, and implemented optimizations, resulting in a significant improvement in application speed. How do you ensure the security of the code you develop? Security is a top priority. I follow best practices, conduct regular code audits, 
and stay informed about the latest security threats by participating in relevant online communities and workshops. Describe your experience with Agile development methodologies. I am well versed in Agile methodologies. I've worked in Scrum teams, participated in sprint planning, and embraced iterative development to deliver high-quality software in a collaborative and adaptive environment. How do you handle competing priorities when managing multiple projects? Prioritization is crucial. I use project management tools to track tasks, set priorities based on deadlines and project significance, and communicate transparently with stakeholders to manage expectations. Can you share an example of a time when you had to mentor a junior team member? Certainly. In a previous role, I mentored a junior developer, providing guidance on best practices and offering constructive feedback. It was rewarding to see their growth and contributions to the team. What steps do you take to ensure the accessibility of your web applications? I follow CAG guidelines, conduct accessibility audits, and involve users with diverse needs in usability testing. This ensures that the applications I develop are inclusive and accessible to a wide range of users. How do you approach documentation in your projects? Documentation is vital for collaboration. I create detailed documentation for code, APIs, and project workflows to ensure clarity and facilitate seamless collaboration among team members. Can you provide an example of a time when you had to lead a team through a challenging project? In a complex project with tight deadlines, I took the lead by setting clear goals, assigning tasks based on team members' strengths, and maintaining regular communication. We successfully delivered the project on time, exceeding client expectations. How do you approach testing and quality assurance in your development process? Testing is integral to my development process. I conduct thorough unit testing, integration testing, and collaborate with QA professionals to ensure the highest quality of code before deployment. Can you discuss a time when you had to troubleshoot a critical production issue? How did you handle it? In a production crisis, I remained calm, gathered the team for a quick diagnosis, identified the root cause, and implemented a temporary fix to restore functionality. Post-incident, we conducted a thorough analysis to prevent similar issues in the future. How do you keep yourself motivated and productive during remote work? Remote work requires discipline. I establish a dedicated workspace, adhere to a consistent schedule, and break tasks into manageable chunks. Regular breaks and staying connected with a team through virtual meetings also contribute to my motivation. Can you provide an example of a time when you successfully implemented feedback from end users to improve a product? Absolutely. Through user feedback, we identified areas for improvement in the user interface. I collaborated with the design team, gathered additional user input, and implemented changes that resulted in a more intuitive and user-friendly product. How do you ensure that your code is maintainable for future development teams? I follow coding standards, document code comprehensively, and use version control systems. I also advocate for code reviews, ensuring that the entire team is familiar with the code base and can maintain it effectively. What role do automated testing and continuous integration play in your development process? Automated testing and continuous integration are crucial. They help catch issues early in the development cycle, ensure code stability, and streamline the deployment process leading to more reliable and efficient software development. 
How do you handle situations where a project's requirements are ambiguous or change frequently? Flexibility is key. I engage in frequent communication with stakeholders to clarify requirements. Additionally, I adopt an iterative approach, allowing for adjustments as needed to accommodate evolving project needs. Can you share your experience working with cloud platforms and services? I have hands-on experience with cloud platforms like AWS and Azure. I've deployed applications, managed resources, and leveraged cloud services to optimize scalability and performance. How do you approach code review feedback, and how do you provide constructive feedback to others? I view code reviews as learning opportunities. I appreciate feedback and use it to enhance my skills. When providing feedback, I focus on specific issues, suggest improvements, and always maintain a positive and constructive tone. Can you discuss a time when you had to advocate for a technological change within your team or organization? Certainly. Recognizing the benefits of adopting a new technology, I prepared a proposal outlining the advantages, conducted a presentation for the team, and successfully gained support for the change, ultimately improving our development processes. How do you ensure that your development work aligns with industry best practices and standards? I stay informed about industry trends, attend relevant conferences, and actively engage in professional communities. Regularly reviewing and updating my knowledge ensures that my work aligns with the latest best practices and standards. How do you approach onboarding when joining a new project or team? During onboarding, I prioritize understanding the existing code base, familiarize myself with team processes, and establish open communication with team members. This helps me integrate quickly and contribute effectively to the project. Describe your experience with containerization and orchestration tools. I have experience working with Docker for containerization and Kubernetes for orchestration. These tools have proven effective in ensuring consistency across different environments and managing scalable applications. How do you handle situations where project requirements are unclear or change frequently? Clear communication is essential. I actively seek clarification on unclear requirements and ensure that stakeholders are involved in the decision-making process. An agile approach allows for flexibility in accommodating changes as needed. Can you discuss a time when you had to lead a team through a major technology transition? In a transition to a new tech stack, I led the team through comprehensive training, facilitated knowledge sharing sessions, and provided ongoing support. The transition resulted in increased efficiency and improved project outcomes. How do you approach optimizing the performance of a web application? Performance optimization involves profiling, identifying bottlenecks, and implementing improvements. This may include optimizing code, leveraging caching mechanisms, and utilizing content delivery networks to enhance overall application performance. Can you share an example of a project where you had to balance the trade-off between functionality and performance? Certainly. In a recent project, we had to prioritize performance due to strict response time requirements. We carefully evaluated and optimized critical functions while maintaining essential functionality, achieving a well-balanced solution. How do you ensure your code is secure, especially in the context of potential vulnerabilities? Security is a priority in every stage of development. I conduct regular security audits, use secure coding, practices, and stay informed about the latest security threats to proactively address potential vulnerabilities. Can you discuss a time when you had to refactor a large code base to improve maintainability? 
In a legacy project, I initiated a refactor to improve maintainability. I conducted a thorough analysis, prioritized refactoring tasks, and systematically improved the code base, resulting in easier maintenance and future development. How do you approach estimating the time required for a development task? I break down tasks into smaller components, consider potential challenges, and leverage past experience for estimation. Regularly reassessing progress and communicating transparently with the team helps ensure accurate timelines. Describe your experience with implementing security measures for user authentication and authorization. I have implemented secure authentication using industry standard protocols like OAuth and OpenID. Additionally, I ensure proper authorization mechanisms are in place, following the principle of least privilege to enhance overall system security. How do you approach designing databases for scalability and performance? Database design is critical for performance. I normalize data to reduce redundancy, index columns strategically, and consider sharding or partitioning for scalability, depending on the project's requirements. Can you discuss a time when you had to address technical debt in a project? Addressing technical debt is essential for long-term success. In a project with accumulating technical debt, I proposed a plan to allocate time for refactoring, prioritize tasks, and gradually address the debt to improve overall code quality. How do you stay creative and innovative in your development approach? I stay creative by exploring new technologies, experimenting with different coding techniques, and participating in hackathons. Continuous learning and pushing the boundaries of what I know keep my approach fresh and innovative. Can you share your experience with A-B testing and how it contributes to product development? A-B testing is crucial for data-driven decisions. I've implemented A-B tests to compare feature variations, gather user feedback, and make informed decisions that positively impact the user experience and overall product success. How do you approach debugging complex issues in your code? Debugging involves systematic problem solving. I use logging and debugging tools to identify issues, isolate components, and step through code to pinpoint the root cause. Collaboration with team members is also valuable in resolving complex issues. Describe your experience with version control systems, particularly Git. Git is a fundamental part of my workflow. I use branching strategies, commit regularly, and leverage Git's features for collaboration and version control. This ensures code stability and facilitates team collaboration. How do you handle situations where project requirements conflict with best practices or established guidelines? Balancing project requirements with best practices is a delicate task. I engage in open communication with stakeholders, explain the implications of deviating from best practices, and work collaboratively to find solutions that meet both project goals and industry standards. Can you share an example of a project where you successfully integrated third-party APIS? Certainly. In a recent project, I integrated a payment gateway API to streamline transactions. I conducted thorough testing, ensured secure data transfer, and provided a seamless experience for users interacting with the third-party service. How do you approach cross-browser compatibility when developing web applications? Cross-browser compatibility is crucial for a positive user experience. I conduct extensive testing across different browsers, use feature detection, and implement fallbacks to ensure consistent functionality and design across various browser environments. Hey Emma, how's it going? Hi Smith. I'm doing well, thanks. How about you? 
not too bad just trying to survive the work week anyway have you been on any interesting trips lately not recently but i did go to new york last month it was amazing i visited times square and central park what about you smith any travel plans that sounds awesome i'm actually planning a trip to paris next summer always wanted to see the eiffel tower do you have a favorite travel destination paris sounds fantastic my favorite so far has been tokyo the blend of traditional and modern culture is fascinating have you ever been to asia please like and subscribe our channel it will help us to grow no not yet but i'd love to visit japan speaking of hobbies do you have any interesting ones i've recently taken up photography photography is great i enjoy painting in my free time it's a therapeutic way to unwind what type of photography do you like i'm into landscape photography capturing the beauty of nature by the way what's your favorite type of painting I love abstract art. The freedom of expression is so liberating. By the way, have you ever tried your hand at painting? Not really, but I've been thinking about giving it a shot. Shifting gears a bit, what's your go-to comfort food? Pizza is my ultimate comfort food. You just can't go wrong with it. How about you, Smith? Any favorite dish? I'm a sucker for a good burger. Speaking of food, have you ever tried cooking something exotic? I once tried making sushi at home. It was a bit challenging but turned out pretty good. Do you enjoy cooking? I do, actually. I find it relaxing. Changing gears again. Do you have any favorite books or movies? I love reading mystery novels, and my favorite movie is in Quat, Inception, and Quat. How about you, Smith? Any favorites? I enjoy sci-fi novels and or Quat. The Matrix or Quat is a classic favorite. On a different note, do you follow any sports? Not really into sports, but I do like watching the Olympics. It's impressive to see all the different talents. How about you, Smith? I'm a big football fan. Sundays are usually reserved for watching games. By the way, do you have any favorite team? Not really, but I do enjoy watching the World Cup. The energy is contagious. How about you? I'm a die-hard fan of Manchester United. Speaking of favorites, what's your favorite season? I love autumn. The colors, the crisp air, it's so refreshing. How about you, Smith? I'm more of a summer person. Love the long days and warm weather. Changing gears again. Do you have any favorite podcasts? I enjoy listening to TED Talks. The variety of topics is always interesting. How about you, Smith? I like comedy podcasts. They always lighten the mood. On a different note, do you have any pets? Yes, I have a cat named Whiskers. She's a bundle of energy. How about you? Are you a pet person? I love dogs. I have a golden retriever named Max. He's a big goofball. Shifting gears again. Do you have a favorite childhood memory? building forts with my friends in the backyard those were some carefree days how about you smith playing hide and seek until it got dark those were the best times by the way do you have a favorite type of music i enjoy indie pop and folk music how about you smith i'm more into classic rock The Beatles are my all-time favorite. Changing topics. Do you have a favorite app on your phone? I love using Spotify for music. It's got an amazing selection. 
How about you, Smith? I'm hooked on Instagram. I love checking out photography accounts. On a different note, do you have a favorite childhood TV show? And Quat, Scooby Doo and Quat was my absolute favorite. How about you, Smith? Or quote, Tom and Jerry or quote, always had me laughing. By the way, do you enjoy outdoor activities? Hiking is my go-to outdoor activity. The views are always worth the effort. How about you, Smith? I enjoy biking, especially on scenic trails. Changing gears, do you have a favorite board game? I love playing Scrabble. It's a great way to challenge the mind. How about you, Smith? Monopoly is a classic favorite. It can get pretty competitive. On a different note, do you have a favorite quote or saying? And quote, the only limit to our realization of tomorrow will be our doubts of today. And quote, it keeps me motivated. How about you, Smith? Or quote, success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Or quote, Winston Churchill nailed it. Changing topics, do you have any favorite podcasts? I enjoy listening to TED Talks. The variety of topics is always interesting. How about you, Smith? I like comedy podcasts, they always lighten the mood. On a different note, do you have any pets? Yes, I have a cat named Whiskers. She's a bundle of energy. How about you? Are you a pet person? I love dogs. I have a golden retriever named Max. He's a big goofball. Shifting gears again, do you have a favorite childhood memory? Building forts with my friends in the backyard. Those were some carefree days. How about you, Smith? Playing hide and seek until it got dark. Those were the best times. By the way, do you have a favorite type of music? I enjoy indie pop and folk music. How about you, Smith? I'm more into classic rock. The Beatles are my all-time favorite. Changing topics, do you have a favorite app on your phone? I love using Spotify for music. It's got an amazing selection. How about you, Smith? I'm hooked on Instagram. I love checking out photography accounts. On a different note, do you have a favorite childhood TV show? And Quat, Scooby Doo and Quat was my absolute favorite. How about you, Smith? Or quote, Tom and Jerry or quote, always had me laughing. By the way, do you enjoy outdoor activities? Hiking is my go-to outdoor activity. The views are always worth the effort. How about you, Smith? I enjoy biking, especially on scenic trails. Changing gears, do you have a favorite board game? I love playing Scrabble. It's a great way to challenge the mind. How about you, Smith? Not too shabby. By the way, do you have any upcoming plans for the weekend? Just catching up on some reading and maybe a movie night. How about you, Smith? I might go for a hike if the weather's nice. Speaking of movies, do you have a favorite genre? I'm into romantic comedies. They never fail to lift my spirits. How about you, Smith? Action movies are my go-to. The adrenaline rush is unbeatable. Shifting gears a bit, do you have any favorite quotes or mantras? Be the change that you wish to see in the world, by Gandhi is a favorite. How about you, Smith? Carpe Diem has always resonated with me. Seize the day, you know? On a different note, do you have any favorite desserts? Chocolate cake is my weakness. I can never resist it. 
How about you, Smith? I'm a sucker for apple pie with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. Changing topics. Do you have a favorite season for fashion? Fall, for sure. I love layering and cozy sweaters. How about you, Smith? Spring is my favorite. I enjoy the lighter clothing and vibrant colors. By the way, have you ever been to a concert? Yes, I went to a Coldplay concert last year. It was an incredible experience. How about you, Smith? I haven't been to one in a while, but I'd love to see a live performance soon. On a different note, do you have a favorite board game? I love a good game of chess. It really gets the brain working. How about you, Smith? Risk is my go-to strategy game. It can get pretty intense. Changing gears, do you have any hidden talents? I can play the guitar a bit. How about you, Smith? I'm surprisingly good at juggling. It's a fun party trick. Speaking of parties, do you enjoy hosting them? Yes, I love having friends over for game nights. How about you, Smith? I prefer attending parties. Less stress, more fun. On a different note, do you have a favorite quote from a movie? Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Forrest Gump. How about you, Smith? Here's looking at you, kid. Casablanca. Classic. Changing topics. Do you have any favorite apps for productivity? I swear by Evernote for keeping my notes organized. How about you, Smith? Trello is my go-to for project management. On a different note, do you have any favorite podcasts for learning something new? I enjoy How I Built This for insights into entrepreneurs' journeys. How about you, Smith? Stuff You Should Know is my go-to for random interesting facts. By the way, do you have a favorite childhood game? Hide and Seek was always a blast. How about you, Smith? Kickball during recess was the highlight of my elementary school days. Shifting gears, do you have any favorite TV shows currently? I'm hooked on The Crown right now. How about you, Smith? Stranger Things has me eagerly awaiting the next season. On a different note, do you have any favorite type of workout? I enjoy yoga for its balance of physical and mental benefits. How about you, Smith? High intensity interval training is my go-to for a quick but effective workout. Changing gears, do you have any favorite quotes from books? To be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest accomplishment. Ralph Waldo Emerson. How about you, Smith? The Hobbit has so many gems, but not all those who wander are lost, stands out. On a different note, do you have any favorite social media platforms? I enjoy Pinterest for its creativity and inspiration. How about you, Smith? Twitter is my go-to for quick updates and news. By the way, do you have a favorite quote about life? Life is what happens when you're busy making other plans. Alan Saunders. How about you, Smith? Life is either a daring adventure or nothing at all. Helen Keller. Changing topics. Do you have any favorite holiday traditions? Decorating the Christmas tree with my family is a cherished tradition. How about you, Smith? Watching fireworks on the 4th of July is a must for me. On a different note, do you have any favorite board game? I enjoy playing Settlers of Catan. It's strategic and fun. How about you, Smith? Clue is a classic favorite. The mystery element keeps it interesting. Shifting gears, do you have a favorite way to spend a lazy Sunday? 
Binge watching a TV series and ordering takeout is my ideal lazy Sunday. How about you, Smith? Not too bad, just keeping busy. By the way, have you picked up any new hobbies lately? I started learning to play the piano. It's challenging but enjoyable. How about you, Smith? I've been trying my hand at gardening. Growing my own veggies has been rewarding. Speaking of activities, do you have a favorite workout routine? I enjoy Pilates for its focus on core strength. How about you, Smith? Weightlifting is my go-to. It's a great stress reliever. Shifting gears a bit, do you have a favorite place you like to go for a quiet escape? There's a cozy cafe in town where I love to read. How about you, Smith? I enjoy taking long walks in the park. It clears the mind. On a different note, do you have a favorite type of cuisine? Italian food is my absolute favorite. Pasta and pizza never get old. How about you, Smith? I'm a fan of Thai cuisine. The flavors are always so vibrant. Changing topics, do you have any favorite podcasts for relaxation? I listen to ASMR podcasts for relaxation. They help me unwind. How about you, Smith? I like listening to nature sounds. It's like bringing the outdoors inside. On a different note, do you have a favorite childhood memory related to food? Baking cookies with my grandmother during the holidays. How about you, Smith? Making pancakes with my dad on lazy Sunday mornings. Shifting gears, do you have any favorite quotes from famous people? The only way to do great work is to love what you do. Steve Jobs. How about you, Smith? Success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. Albert Schweitzer. On a different note, do you have any favorite apps for staying organized? I use Todoist to keep track of tasks and deadlines. How about you, Smith? I'm a fan of Evernote for note-taking and keeping ideas organized. Changing topics, do you have a favorite way to unwind after a long day? Taking a hot bath and reading a good book helps me relax. How about you, Smith? Watching a favorite TV show or movie is my go-to unwind activity. On a different note, do you have a favorite type of dessert? Chocolate mousse is a weakness of mine. How about you, Smith? I can never resist a good cheesecake. Shifting gears, do you have any favorite board games for game nights? Settlers of Catan is always a hit with my friends. How about you, Smith? I enjoy a good game of Pictionary for some laughs. Changing topics, do you have a favorite way to stay active in the winter? I like hitting the slopes for some skiing. How about you, Smith? Ice skating is a winter activity I always look forward to. On a different note, do you have a favorite way to celebrate achievements? I usually treat myself to a nice dinner or a spa day. How about you, Smith? Going out for a celebratory drink with friends is my tradition. By the way, do you have a favorite season for fashion? Fall, for sure. I love layering and cozy sweaters. How about you, Smith? Spring is my favorite. I enjoy the lighter clothing and vibrant colors. Changing topics, do you have a favorite type of flower? Sunflowers are my absolute favorite. They're so cheerful. How about you, Smith? I'm a fan of lilies. They have such an elegant beauty. On a different note, do you have a favorite type of vacation? Beach vacations are my go-to for relaxation. How about you, Smith? I enjoy exploring cities and experiencing different cultures. 
Shifting gears, do you have a favorite genre of movies? Romantic comedies are my guilty pleasure. How about you, Smith? Action movies always keep me on the edge of my seat. Changing topics, do you have a favorite way to start your mornings? A cup of coffee and some quiet time to plan my day. How about you, Smith? A morning run helps me wake up and feel energized. On a different note, do you have a favorite season for outdoor activities? Spring is perfect for picnics and outdoor reading. How about you, Smith? Summer is great for hiking and camping adventures. By the way, do you have a favorite book that you've read recently? Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens was a recent favorite. How about you, Smith? The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides had me hooked from the first page. Changing topics, do you have a favorite type of museum to visit? I enjoy art museums, especially contemporary art exhibits. How about you, Smith? Science museums are fascinating to me. The interactive exhibits are always a hit. Shifting gears, do you have a favorite way to stay motivated? Setting small, achievable goals helps me stay on track. How about you, Smith? Visualizing the end result and the sense of accomplishment keeps me motivated. On a different note, do you have a favorite board game for a competitive game night? Risk always brings out everyone's competitive side. How about you, Smith? I enjoy a good game of Scrabble for a mix of strategy and wordplay. Changing topics, do you have a favorite way to give back to your community? Volunteering at the local animal shelter is something I find fulfilling. How about you, Smith? 